Hello, welcome back to the channel. Today we're playing an uh, Azorius, almost said Orzov, uh, Azorius token-y tempo type of deck um, that runs things like Wedding Announcement, uh, Wandering Emperor, Archangel Elspeth, Teferi Temporal Pilgrim, and Virtue of Loyalty um, to generate tokens and then protect those tokens with things like Make Disappear, which synergizes, of course, with things like a Wedding Announcement token, the Invasion of Gobicon, and then, of course, winning with the flipped Virtue of Loyalty uh, to give everything a plus one, plus one counter every time the turn ends. Uh, to back this up as well, we have things like Elspeth Smite to take care of the opponent's early attacking creatures. Um, Archangel Elspeth, of course, minus two, can put plus one, plus one counters on our creatures to ferry. Uh, the tokens just scale whenever we draw. Elspeth to give things flying, Vigilance, First Strike, uh, or Lifelink to go over the top. Um, and then things like Quick Study to draw us cards. Uh, another cool synergy we have in here is Soul Partition and Wash Away. Wash Away is one that is sort of a staple in Commander, but uh, in Standard doesn't see much play, but I think with the new set coming out, it is going to be more relevant than ever with the new uh, Cascade type effect. Um, because with Cascade, you essentially are casting the uh, creature, or whatever it is you Cascade into, without paying its mana cost. And since it comes from not the hand, uh, it's basically a counter for one. So I think Wash Away will begin seeing more play. Um, we'll see how it pans out, but definitely have my eye on this card. Uh, it's one that I've played in Standard before, and it's one that's interesting with Soul Partition and also the Invasion of Gobicon, because both of these cards put things into exile, making them cost more, and then when they the opponent goes to play them again for the uh, additional cost, you can just wash it away for one mana, which is fantastic. So that's the counter spell we're running along with the Make Disappears. Uh, we have one Horn Lock Whale, again, just to bounce, and then also to play late game. And uh, yeah, that's the deck. So hope you all enjoy the video. If you do, please leave a like and a comment down below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll see you in the games. All right, opponent goes first. We have our partitions. Hmm. Need to find a third land of any color, really. Alright. We can do that, I believe. I believe in the power of the Shuffler. <laughs> oh no. Alright, one more turn to find it. Uh, I guess we go back on here. Looks like they have an Edict. Let's see if that assessment is correct. They do! What do they play on three that we hate the most, Trespasser? Because we don't have blue, so we'll want to Soul Partition the Glissa. And then we... Well, yeah, we find blue. Um... We can't play the announcement here, otherwise they just... Uh, remove our token, and then attack in with Glissa and blow up our announcement. So we pass, we Soul Partition Glissa here, and then we wash away. Good, mm, good pass. Uh, I think we do this. I don't think we take the hit. Their land here would be amazing. Lissa and Trespass are held off until 5. There's the announcement. 5 is next turn, though. So, am I supposed to just Field of Ruin the Cottage into Wash Away on whatever they play and then play an announcement next turn? Yeah, let's do that. Let them draw first. And then we just Field of Ruin. Get ourselves a blue source. I have to remember to do that. And hopefully they don't have a turtle. <laughs> yeah, synergies. Synergies. Well, yeah. Let's get it cast. 
And we hit the land. Fantastic. So now we can just make disappear the trespasser. Start working on this Gobicon. Fantastic. Let's send the turtle back um, and then just flip this invasion and try to beat them down. You can also draw two cards by doing that, which is great. They get their cottage. Let's see if they also have a cut down. I think they do uh, because of the stick there a little bit. So we send all three. There's the cut down. Draw two cards. Make a uh, Mirix token. Uh oh. That's not great. <laughs> not great at all. They can remove both of our tokens here. Super unfortunate. Let's see if they do that versus just playing the turtle. Our Mirix tokens are going to be large and in charge, though. Now they're opting for the removal. I don't think we commit the array because we can reload with tokens here. This comes in as a 2-2, so it trades with the foundry if they want to bring it out. I still don't think we commit the array. We get another token anyways. An underdog. Another invasion. And take their edicts. I don't know how great that is. We go for it. Okay. Keep the board clear. And the turn. can make a Mirix in response to the um, Edict. They could just play the uh, Virtue of Persistence here. But if they do that, they're taking the turn off. So we flip this other invasion. And then hopefully draw into a way to deal with the Virtue of Persistence. Could also play the Turtle. All right, they go for the Virtue. How many lands? Our tokens are large and in charge. Lissa has arrived. Go turtle, blitz underdog, edict. If they edict, we Mirix in response. Alright. And we need to draw, like, a memory deluge, a quick study, literally anything to deal with this Glissa. <laughs> Double Edict. Alright. The one that can't block. <sighs> A 
Smite would be good. Virtue of Loyalty. Would prefer Quick Study, but hey. The Whale. Literally anything that isn't a land. <laughs> Alright, pass. The fairy. The fairy's interesting. The entire multi. So what do they do? I won't back down. Bring these out, we block. Sack one of the light shield arrays, make indestructible. Is this target? Yeah. So light shield array actually stops the glissa from blowing up our enchantment. Find a backup to fairy. Alright. In that case, could swing in, trade with the glissa, sack one of these. Could also just hold it back to block, sack. Hold it back to block. Because then we can block like a cottage or something. And start making Teferi tokens. Trespasser has arrived. Into the turtle again. We don't have to block this, but we sack the array anyway. So we do block. Listen down. There's a wash away. very tempting to make a token play other Teferi and draw a card. We're at 9 mana. I've got eyes everywhere. Fast as a puzzle, and I'm going to solve it. A smite is fantastic Much actually. We send. Okay. And we still have our wash away available. Here comes Glissa. Can't counter this, unfortunately. So it puts it directly onto the battlefield. counter that.
Couldn't risk them plussing there. So, I have to use the counterspell. Ooh, they're gonna give us the cottage. I will take that trade. Is it worth sacking the light shield array? Going after to Barry. Stage you in another foundry. I think it is worth sacking this to get rid of the cottage for now. Force them to attack in with the turtle again. That's good. We need another card here. Ooh. I am here to learn. Nine mana, you say. So we can Virtue of Loyalty now. Play the virtue and then also have a backup. Send them both. Glissa takes the trade. Man, that Glissa is an issue. Alright. Good blocks on the turtle for us here. Only thing they can get oh they can get back the Dread Knight too. We'll see what they do. It's probably Dread Knight here. Yep. Yeah, they want to do it. Let's see what they go for Those here. Who get in my way tends to regret it. Ah, one of your friends has to leave. Okay. Interesting. They can destroy one of our enchantments. They probably choose the virtue of loyalty, right? I think we take out the turtle here. I feel like you just get your cottage, right?
Outage acquired. Do we stop the Glissa? I think we do. There's an Emperor. Lissa can get exiled now. Who's that handsome devil? We send face, we exile Glissa. Shoulder, because they can get it back. Eh? Could put a plus one, plus one here. And we block here. Remember your training. Shall we? Back up, Shelly. We all have things we'd rather forget. All right, Dread Knight. We'll see how they attack, and they have to be a little careful because we can just minus the Emperor if they don't have enough pressure to attack the Emperor down. Ooh. Oh my. And that's not the play you go face. No attacks? Really? What? What? You win those. What do you mean? All right. Going first, we'll keep. Caves of Oilos. Two of them. Very painful mana base for the opponent. Looks like they may have a edict. Let's just get the announcement down. Tap land, tap down, revelry. Alright. What else do you have? Soren on four, Ashiok on five. And an announcement. Let's take away their Soren. Go for the throat they had.
partition this. Okay. I'll spell. Fly high in the sky. This is your fight. Win it. Need to get this invasion flipped. And we also threaten their planeswalkers. Could play a very expensive Celestis. Go just Ashiok here. The go announcement. Okay. Start getting in there. Clear out the uh, fortress while we can. Back down. Quick study, huh? Get that cast now. Ooh, and another wash away. I know there's a hero. Let's go vigilance here. Dead next turn. Need to go for Sorn probably to make a vampire. In which case we just wash away. May need to cleave for a sunfall, which is why we didn't virtue there. Really? Emperor, maybe? Okay. Let's check to make sure. <laughs> they play it now. Yep. So then we just give this vigilance. I am the Emperor Kamigawa, and I will protect my people. Nebraska. Hmm. I was gonna say we actually don't give this vigilance. So what they could have done is you can still activate the Emperor's abilities even like up until end step. So they play the Emperor in response to us checking their hand. Uh, and then if we give this Vigilance, it goes to 12. So it's 12 damage. And then they just exile their 2-2. And it keeps them alive for another turn, which gives them a chance to deal with the threats on board or draw into a sweeper. Um, and then they still would have been very much in the game. Well, actually I say that, but... It was probably a two-turn clock because of the wash away anyway, but that is a play they could have made. Virtue on two here. And then hopefully into fourth land along the way. Maybe a wedding announcement. All you hear is a disaster. Are we attacking in? We make the 2-2 no matter what. 
and I will take the trade. Let's see if they have the uh, Adeline here. We can, if they play an Adeline, we can counter it, and then we need to draw that next land. Badly. Very badly. No invasions, please. That's their land drop. We like that. Alright, we'll pass. See if there's anything that needs to be washed away. If not, we trade with the Vanguard with a 2-2. Two -two. Everyone missing land here. Their three drops are really good, so... I think it's a race to see who gets the land first. Because our four drops are really good. Their three drops are really good. And we're both missing the land to do it. <laughs> See what they go for. If they go Thalia here, ooh, they find the land. That's bad. All right, counter Adeline or no? I think so. Adeline too good. Also gets around Emperor. There's the land. Can we actually make the 2 2 here? And then we block the 1 1 they send at the Emperor, or the 2 2, I suppose. We must protect the people. For 3. Take the Emperor. Interesting choice. Okay. Take the two. Atawara. Want to trade? Mmm, they do. do. We give up the token. I think we do. I have a specialist here. Okay. Could make the 2 2 to block. Could just Emperor minus, have Emperor on board. I think we just eat the two, actually. Let your blade do the talking. Let's make the three three here. to teach you. No trades. And then our plan is to soul partition, probably the vanguard. There's the specialist. And then we can ambush something that attacks in, like a Thalia. So it's partition the vanguard. Oh, because the Thalia is still in the media. Alright, we have to do this then. 
Now we can do this. <laughs> Confused about my uh, timing there. Strike fast and strike hard. Good Elspeth minus. I'll just make a four four. All right, let's get this moving. This gets a plus one, plus one as well, so no point in trading it with this, the uh, specialist. Okay. Next turn, Elspeth, and we start making one ones. Another Thalia. Fine, can't play that uh, Vanguard, so we take those. Bad attacks in here for the opponent all around. They send it all. We're blocking both officers. So they must have, like, an Iganjo here. They do. Okay. Emperor lives to take out one officer. Always glad to meet my match. So long as I draw breath, you find bright here. Show them how Let's pump this up a little bit so we can enemies. trade with the Thalia. Or I should say block the Thalia. Well, no, it is a trade, isn't it? Alright, full cost Vanguard has arrived. That will do. Why don't go in first? Uh, two counters and a partition. So, hmm. This looks like aggro. Good mulligan. Okay, it's just got worse. <laughs> now our mana's busted. This is the first iteration of this deck, but I think I think it can do well. All right, right into a quick study. So we play like a controlly game until we get our tokens moving. Celestus. Let's actually just partition that, and then when they use all their mana, perfect. We find another blue source. Pass. When they use all their mana, we can wash it away. Otherwise, we just quick study here. And I'm hopeful that they missed a land, uh, and that's why they played the Celestis out on three in the face of open blue. We have another. And I think they are missing land, so I think I'm actually just supposed to counter this. Oh, they have the land and they are domain -y. Let's get Elspeth online. Actually, not sure what they're playing. <laughs> Could be ossification here. Do I have farewell? I don't. Took that out. Ooh. Yeah. Haito. Don't stop me. I like that. <laughs> Too slow. Nice. Let's just quick study now. What else you got? They probably just play Celestis, but. Old Rutstein and March is throwing mist. What are they up to? How exciting. Let's take the mist. What are they up to indeed? A Skrell. There's the draw. I got fresh intel. Alright. Let's get this invasion flipped. We have the make disappear, and they only have two mana open, so... Have courage. We're gonna leave Kaito alone for now. If they plan on marching, they'd have to use... They'd have to discard quite a bit, right? Maybe they plan on countering the flip. Because they do have Make Disappear, plus with the Rutstein token. Alright, nope.
treasure. One, two, three, four, five, six. Alright, no attacking or blocking for our 4-4. Four, four. Back in with Rutstein. Let's go for the whale and see what they do. No way they use the plaza here. We do smite this because we want to be able to minus onto our one one here to attack down their kaito next turn in the air also just make disappear this i think we get aggressive Sack the one that can't attack or block. Yeah. There's a Dunnock. Okay. We'll exile that. To the skies. I was expecting a little more. See what they do here. They gotta be thinking about another make disappear for sure. It's weird that they run Rutstein and Dunnock though. So I'm quite confused about what this deck is. Okay. You can't fight what you can't see. They can use the plaza or a counter or something here to commit the mana. Oh, they let it go. We have no cards. They <laughs> play their extremely expensive Celestis. And another Denek. Alright, so we take out the Kaito here. Let's just make another 1 1. Over the top. At least I learned a lot. Flip the day-night. Ah, it's a Jota deck. It all makes sense now. Okay. Going after Elspeth. We'll just block. Joda, Joda, Joda. Let's get airborne. You've earned my blessing. Gotta punch him. Into a field of ruin. Oh, 
don't really want that resolving, do we? Ah, <laughs> they get Rocco and it's sushi. It all makes sense. Joda. Well, <sighs> looks like Elspeth's time has run its course. Or has it? Or has it? We'll take eight, eight to the face. Because they can block on the ground anyway, and we can't give flying, so we may as well make another 1-1 one, one, and then threaten the potential to give flying. And in the meantime, I think we just play the whale, unless we find something better here. Field of Ruin takes out their plaza. Definitely an interesting deck, I like it. I like it a lot. Alright, so we'll do... Like this. I think we just do this now. Run away. You'll be safer. Argument to be made for the Denek. Ooh, if they have a blue card to discard with the uh, March. Oh. I am almost sad to see you go. I think that means they have another Jota in hand. I think we just roll. Defend our tokens with the uh, light shield array here. Lethal on the board. We'll see what they do. A very interesting deck. I do like what they're going for. Of course, those of you that have watched the channel for a while will know I do enjoy a good Rotodropic Verborg. Speaking of which, there's going to be a disgusting, I think, Rotodropic deck. Um, we let these go. Uh, coming out with the release of um, Ixalan. Because they are printing a no mana sacrifice outlet, which is kind of crazy to me. Uh, because Woe Strider is really good, um, and this card is only two mana. It's a legendary, so we can do very fun things with Urborg. So look forward to that, because I sure am. I'm pretty excited for Ixalan. I saw some of the. Um, oh, one that says good game. All right, they're out of here. Uh, some of the. Spoilers, and it looks very exciting. Mono goes first. Virtue on two, or make disappear. Alright. We actually have a nice curve and lots of options here. I was just going to quick study or wash away shoulder or do we do we just quick study in response surely we just do this though like, we can't have shoulder here <laughs> not allowed there's the partition regret doing that
Well, let's see if they play land. Nope. Let's just get this cast. It's around a cut down. So they'll need to use hard removals. Virtue. It's the land. Quick study Emperor Murex. Like them all. Murex of their own. So we can make a Murex token and make disappear this shoulder. Trespasser. We can make a Murex token and counter this trespasser. Let's do that. There's a land. Let them draw. And then, like so. They do not wish to make a token. Emperor now available. Lily. I don't really want to discard quick study. A fight? And you think you can win. But now. You won't be outsmarting me. Smite can go. If we draw an untap land here, ooh, that's really good for us. Because now we just go Archangel, and then when they make us discard, we go Emperor. We'd rather forget. Guards, to me. Ascend. Like so. Now you've got my attention. Other merits. Drop it. Into the virtue. Shoulders for days. They should have just attacked him. Let's go. First strike, I think. Strike fast and strike hard. You will shine bright, hero. No blocks. It's no fun to take back. Should have made a Mirix token there. Alright, they get the Trespasser. 6-6 six, six first strike though, in the way of the Shouldred. If they remove it, we can also just chump block with our 2-2. Two -two, keeping our Planeswalkers alive. Elspeth threatens to ultimate in two turns. And, uh, yeah. I mean, you're gonna have to send that Shouldred. Yeah, <laughs> that'll do it. All right, welcome back to the post-game deck overview. That was our Azorius tokens list. Uh, there have been two versions of the deck. Um, I'm recording this outro 
uh, a couple days after we last played it. So as you can see, created three days ago, which is when we initially played it. Uh, but we ended up going 10 and 7, played it for about two hours. In terms of matchups, on a white aggro, felt kind of bad, to be honest. Um, and yeah, everything else was kind of okay. Most played against decks were mono red, mono white aggro, mono red, and then gruel aggro. Uh, against mono red and gruel aggro, we went one for one each time. Although it's pretty small sample size, so I'm not too sure how that matchup would turn out. Um, but I feel like it could be okay depending on what the uh, whether you go first or not. So um, going over the versions quick, the only difference is so with this one we went six and five, and then with this one we went four and two. Um, the only difference is here, we removed one invasion of Gobicon and added in one more Teferi, because I felt like Teferi on the top end, um, it was, like, you don't want to top deck an invasion of Gobicon late into the game when you have, you're basically top decking, Teferi is much better, so that's why Teferi makes the cut, so yeah. Um, other than that though, yeah, the deck was fun, I like the, uh... I like the token archetype in Azorius because you have access to things like Make Disappear, which combined with the tokens uh, makes it a whole lot better for a lot longer in the game. Um, also, Invasion of Gobicon and Soul Partition <clears throat> excuse me, are nice to slow the opponent down, and then when they get to play that thing that you take with these cards, you can just wash it away, um, which is nice. And then with the cleave cost, I feel like it's not that much of a price to pay because the other hard counters like Dissipate um, and Urtai Scorn, they cost one and two blue, which is the same as the cleave cost for Wash Away. So um, I think the synergy with the exile effect um, is very nice here. And then you also don't mind paying the three if you really need to. Um, it's also really good for people playing like, uh, where is it? Virtue of Loyalty or Virtue of Persistence type mirrors. Um, you can also counter the Alara when they flip it. Um, when, because it's like a cast spell, but it's not cast from hand, so Wash Away deals with that. And again, I think I mentioned this in the intro, but uh, Wash Away I think is going to be pretty relevant when the next set comes out, because, or at least for Control, obviously, because um, the Cascade effect, like currently in Commander, you can Wash Away something that's Cascaded. So when the opponent plays like a creature or whatever it is that effectively Cascades, you can counter that for one mana, I think if it works the way I think it does. So um, I think this card will see a resurgence in uh, in control decks. Uh, and it's one that I like already. So um, yeah, again, just playing around with the different synergies there. Uh, other than that, though, I think, yeah, I think the deck performed as well as I would expect it to. Um, I think there's some more tinkering that could be done, maybe another Mirix, maybe other token generation, uh, perhaps. But um, for now, I think that, uh, yeah, it does what it tries to do. So that's it for the games, though. Hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like and a comment down below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one.